Hello everybody. Welcome to Yoga for Self Love with Kim. I am Kim. Today's practice will be a short, gentle practice with a focus on presence and balance. We'll bring in some balance postures which really help you to stay in the present moment. It's not too much else that you can think of when you're trying to keep your balance. So we'll balance our brains, our energy, our bodies, <laughs> and hopefully enjoy the practice. So bring yourself to your mat, find a comfortable seat, and we will begin with a breathing practice called Nadi Shodhana or alternate nostril breathing. So we'll breathe in and out of one nostril, in and out of the other nostril, and we'll switch back and forth. So take a comfortable seat, feel free to sit up on something elevate the hips, find some upright alignment through your spine. And then you can use your right hand, your right thumb to close off the right nostril and then your ring finger pinky to close off the left nostril. You can just flip this from side to side. If you like, you could bring your index finger, middle finger to rest on your third eye space right between the eyebrows. So let's begin with this. We'll take a deep breath in through the nose and then sigh it out of the mouth. Let everything go. <sighs> Just clear everything out there. And now let's close off the left nostril. Take a deep breath in through the right nostril. And now take your right thumb, close off the right nostril and exhale out through your left nostril. Now inhale in through the left nostril. Close off the left nostril, open up the right and exhale out through the right. Inhale in through your right nostril. Close it off, exhale out through the left. Inhale in through the left nostril. Close it off, exhale out through the right. Inhale in through right nostril. Close it off, exhale out through left. Now continue this way a few more rounds following your breath. And then release your hand down and continue to breathe in and out through your nose now. Nice, deep, smooth, steady breaths. If the eyes are not closed already, you can close the eyes if that feels okay for you. And then bring one hand to rest on your heart, one hand to rest on your belly and check in with yourself. Just notice how you're doing today. I invite you to bring in the intention to be gentle, kind, patient, loving, compassionate with yourself as you move through this practice. And then release the hands down, open the arms out to the side, so nice and wide. And then we'll cross the arms over the chest Give yourself a little hug, maybe drop the chin down towards the chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. Send yourself some love. Thank yourself for showing up for you today and taking this sacred time for yourself and for your practice. And open up the arms again, nice and wide, and then we'll cross other arm on top. Again, giving yourself a little squeeze. Maybe turning the corners of your lips up into a smile. <laughs> and 
open the arms wide and then release the arms down and then slowly begin to blink the eyes open and just gently rock yourself from side to side beginning to get a little bit of movement going energy flowing and then let's roll the torso around in circles over to one side and forward over to the other side and then roll it back and couple more circles around your pace. And then switch the direction of your circles. And then let's bring it back up to center. Slowly we'll find our way over onto the hands and knees. So if you were sitting on anything, you can remove it, push it off to the side. Find your way onto the hands and knees, and then just take a few little rocks from side to side. And then bring yourself to center. Let's roll through a few rounds of our cat-cow. Inhale as you soften the belly, lift the tail, draw the heart forward and lift your gaze. Exhale as you root down into the finger pads, into the fingers and knuckles, outer ring of your palm. Round your back up towards the ceiling, look towards your navel. And then as you inhale again, you bring it back through your cow. And begin to roll through this a few more times, just following your breath. And then bring yourself back to your table, neutral spine. Now let's root down into the right knee, foot, shin, the left hand, fingers, and begin to extend that left leg back and reach that right arm forward, finding our way into a cat balance. So left leg is lifted about hip level itch, toes turning down towards the mat, finding that neutral rotation of the hip, and then release. Let's send it over to the other side, sending right leg back, reaching left arm forward. And then release. Let's do it again, other side, left leg moves back, right arm reaches forward. And now let's draw the right elbow down to the right side towards the hip as you bend the left knee and bring it out to the left side. And then reach the leg and the arm back out. Again, knee draws to the left side, right elbow draws over towards that right side, and then re-extend. Let's do that one more time. Re-extend it out. And then from here, let's draw the elbow and knee towards each under, other underneath the body, curl it in, press down into that left hand, hug that right knee left, I'm sorry, right elbow, left knee towards each other, and then re-extend it out. Let's curl it in. Re-extend the arm and the leg out and then curl it back in. Reach it back out. Release the hand and the knee down. And let's send it over to the other side. Right leg back, left arm reaching forward. And now we'll bend the left elbow, pull that left elbow towards the left hip. Bend that right knee, reach it out to the right side. Re-extend. Again, left elbow pulls back, right knee draws up towards right side. Reach it back out one more time. Left elbow pulls back as right knee draws up towards the side of the body, towards the hip. Re-extend it out. Now we'll draw the elbow and knee underneath the body towards each other, pressing into that right hand. Draw the elbow and knee towards each other, round up through the back, hug it in, re-extend it back out. Again, hug it in, re-extend. Bring it back in, re-extend it out. Release the hand and the knee down to the mat. Now let's kick the right foot out to the right side. If you reach that right hand a little bit forward on the mat and begin to extend the left leg back as you roll the pelvis open, point the left toes forward. So we're coming into a Half Moon Pose, Ardha Chandrasana on hands and knees. You can reach that left arm up if you like. 
Give yourself a little smile. <laughs> Keep breathing. And then we'll bring it back down. Hand, knee come back down to the mat. Now let's tap that left foot out to the left side. Kick it out a little bit. Left hand moves up a little bit. And then let's roll the pelvis open. Lift up that right leg, hip level-ish. Right toes pointing forward, hip in neutral rotation. Arm, right arm reaches up. And then bring it back down to the mat. Coming back into your table. Send that right leg back again. And now we'll bend the right knee, round up through the back, hug that knee in towards nose, chest, forehead, and then step or carry that right foot up towards the top of the mat. Knee tracking over the ankle. Press into the right foot, left knee, foot, shin. Hug in through the legs, lift up through pelvic floor, up through belly, and bring yourself up into a low lunge. You can take hands to the thigh, press into the thigh, lift up through the crown of the head. And now tuck the back toes under, press down into the feet. Begin to slowly lift that left knee up off of the mat, bringing it up into a high lunge. You can keep the hands where they are on the thigh or reach the arms up. Right hip hugs back a little bit. Left hip forward a little bit, squaring the hips off towards the top of the mat. And then release left knee back down to the mat. Let's take hands down to the mat. Bring yourself back into table position. We'll do the same thing now on the other side. Send that left leg back. Bend the left knee, front underneath the body, rounding through the back, step or carry that left foot up top of the mat. Press down into that foot. Hug in through the legs, lift it up through the belly, sides of the body nice and long. Let's take hands down to that left thigh, press into the thigh, reaching up through crown of the head. And now let's tuck the back toes under. Press down into both feet, hug in through the inner thighs, begin to peel that right knee up off of the mat, finding your way up into a high lunge. And then we'll lower that knee back down to the mat. Hands come back down to the mat. Coming back through our table, let's tuck the toes under. Press into the hands, glide the hips up and back. And while you're here, if you like, you can pedal out your legs. Find any movement that feels good. Shaking, rocking, pouncing, pedaling. And then slowly walk yourself up to the top of the mat. We'll take it into a forward fold, hinging from the hips for a moment. Lift belly up off of the thighs, lengthen out through the crown of the head, and then fold it in. Bring the belly back to the thighs. Let your head go. Shake it out. Nod the head. Shake it. No. Yes, no. Yes, no. <laughs> and then hands to hips. Press into feet. Rise all the way up. We'll take it into warrior one. Step the right foot back. Looking down into that right heel. Begin to bend that left knee. Again, knee tracking over ankle. Pressing down into that back heel. And then reach arms up. Hands come back down. Step ourselves up to the top of the mat. And then other side, warrior one. Left foot steps back. Running into that left heel. Bend that right knee, hug right hip back to reach the arms up. And then hands come back down, step yourself forward. Let's do it again, right foot back, warrior one. Bend that left knee, arms reach up. Let's take the palms together at the heart. Slowly begin to shift your weight forward, taking the weight into that left foot. Step, hop, slide that back foot forward and then begin to lift that right leg up, finding a warrior three pose here. Reaching out through that back foot, out through the crown of the head. If you need blocks here, feel free to grab them. Put your hands down on blocks if you like. And then we'll slowly step it back. Coming back into warrior one, bending left knee, arms reach up. 
and then release the arms down, step it forward, switch it over to the other side, let's step left foot back, bend the right knee, arms reach up, and then hands come down to meet at the heart, Anjali Mudra. Now let's take it into warrior three on this side, weight into that right foot, weight travels forward, begin to lift up from the belly, and extend that left leg up and back. And slowly left foot steps back, hands reach back up, you find your way back into warrior one, and then release the hands down, step yourself forward, and turn to face the long edge of the mat here if you like, soften the knees, roll up onto ball of right foot, draw the knee up towards chest, Release, weight into that right foot, softening down through the knees. Let's draw that left knee up towards chest. Release. Now let's take the weight back into the left foot. Slip that right foot up, extend the leg forward, maybe a couple inches off of the floor. And then release, weight back into the right foot. Let's extend that left leg forward. You can have the arms out to the side or hands on hips. If you need some help with your balance, you could put your hand on a wall or a chair. And then release. Weight travels back into the left foot. And now let's reach the right leg out to the right side. So we're abducting the leg out to the side. And then release. And then again, we'll go to the other side. Weight moving into right foot. Now we Reach that left foot out to the left side. And then release. Weight travels back into the left foot. Let's draw that right knee up towards chest again. Now open that right knee out to the side. Bring that right knee down to meet the left so that right foot is out behind you. And then draw the right knee up towards the chest again. Open it out to the side. Bring that right knee back to meet the left. And then continue a few times circling this knee around. And then we'll switch the direction. So bring the right knee down to meet the left and then open it out to the side and then bring the knee forward. So just different direction of our circles. You feel yourself maybe wobbling a little. <laughs> That's okay. Calibrating and recalibrating. Let's release that right foot down. Let's take the same thing over to the other side. Taking our weight now down into that right foot, nice and strong through the right leg. We'll bring that left knee up towards chest. Open it out to the side. Bring that left knee back to meet the right left foot, pressing back behind you. Left knee draws up opens out to the side, bring the left knee down to meet the right, and then continue a few more circles. And if you need to pause, get on two feet again for a minute, <laughs> feel free to do that. And then we'll switch the direction of these knee hip circles. So we'll bring that left knee down to meet the right, and then bring that knee out to the side back towards center, a couple more. Really strengthening through the ankles here. Oop. And then let's release that foot down and we'll take the weight back into that left foot. Let's open that right knee up to the side, forming a little tree pose here, left heel and come to meet the right ankle. And then you can stay here. If you like, you can bring that right foot up to that left calf, or maybe all the way up to that left inner thigh. Keeping hands on hips, or you can reach the arms up and out, or palms together overhead, or hands down to heart, or you could 
bring one hand to rest on that right knee thigh. Maybe reach left arm up, maybe a little, little side bend over to the right leaning tree. <laughs> and then bring it all back to center, bring the hands down, release that foot down. Let's do that same thing on the other side. Now weight into the right foot. Let's open that left knee up to the side. Take that left heel, little kickstand here. Left heel meets the right ankle. You can stay here, finding our tree pose here, or bring that left foot up to calf, all the way up to thigh. And again, you take the variation that you like with the hands. Keep breathing here, check in with your breath. Nice, deep, smooth, steady. And if you fall out of the pose, no biggie, no big deal. It's all part of our practice. Let's bring the hands back down and release that foot down. And then roll up onto the ball of the right foot and just roll that knee and ankle around in a few little circles and then switch the direction of the circles and then give that foot a little shake and then we switch over to other side rooting down into the right foot roll up on ball of left foot roll that knee and ankle around in circles and then switch direction and then give that leg a little shake and then let's march it out, bend the right knee, draw it up towards the chest and take the left hand to tap the inside of that right knee. And then right foot comes down, left knee draws up towards the chest, take that right hand, tap inside of that left knee or thigh. And then just march it out, opposite hand moving to opposite knee. And then take yourself to the back of the mat. Let's reach the arms out to the sides and up, palms together overhead. Hinge from the hips, soften the knees, fold yourself in, forward fold. Walk your hands out so you can bend your knees a lot to make this happen. Walk the hands forward and you walk yourself out into a downward dog. Let's pedal out the legs here. And then release your knees down to the mats and come back to sit on your heels. Let's take one more round of our Mani Shodana or alternate nostril breath, just like we did at the beginning of the practice. Use the right hand again, right thumb to close off right nostril, ring finger, pinky to close off left nostril. Close off the left nostril, inhale in through the right, Close it off, exhale out through left. Inhale in through left. Close it off, exhale out through right. Inhale in through right. Close it off and continue your breath, a few more rounds. Release your hands down, close your eyes, bring one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Check back in with yourself and notice how you are feeling now. Notice if anything has shifted for you. And then release your hands, bring the palms together at the heart, Anjali Mudra, blink the eyes open. Thank you so much for sharing this short, gentle, balance practice with me today. I hope it helped. With love and gratitude, namaste.